Ukrainian special forces finally destroy Russian most dangerous tank. The Ukrainian brigade said on the 4th of May, we are destroying the Russian occupiers together with their armored vehicles. This footage shows a Ukrainian brigade destroying several Russian armored vehicles in their bid to completely clear Ukrainian land of enemy invaders. The 30th Mechanized Brigade, named after Prince Konstanty Ostrogsky, a formation of the Ukrainian ground forces, vowed to free the country of Russian invaders. The enemy will be destroyed, and Ukrainian land will be completely cleared of enemy invaders. According to reports, the brigade destroyed numerous vehicles and weapons used by the Russians, including a multi-purpose vehicle, a howitzer, and two tanks with Stunya P anti-tank guided missile systems. Moscow invaded Ukraine on 24 February in what the Kremlin called a special military operation. Today marks the 71st day of the campaign. Ukrainian defenders have already killed about 24,700 Russian troops since the Russian invasion of Ukraine began on February 24, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Between February 24 and May 5, the enemy also lost 1,092 tanks, 2,651 armored fighting vehicles, 499 artillery systems, 169 multiple launch rocket systems, 83 anti-aircraft warfare systems, 196 aircraft, 155 helicopters, 1,907 motor vehicles and fuel tankers, 10 boats, cutters, 312 unmanned aerial vehicles, 38 units of special units and 89 cruise missiles. The video was posted as Russian troops continue their attempts to finally gain control of the besieged city of Mariupol after the evacuation of some 300 civilians in a joint UN Red Cross operation. A Ukrainian commander fighting inside the combat zone from the Mariupol's Azovstal steel plant described the fighting as difficult and bloody. The bitter fighting which has now moved to a focus on the east of the country comes as Belarus which is Ukraine's neighbor began large-scale military drills and apparent exercises to test their combat readiness. The defense ministry in the UK had earlier warned that Russia was possibly hoping to provoke Ukraine into putting much-needed military resources on the Belarusian border over concerns that there might be fighting opening up on a new front. At the moment the fighting in the east saw Russia claiming to have destroyed six railway stations which they said were being used to bring western military aid including weapons to the region.
The severe fighting in the country has prompted the European Union to unveil plans for the tougher sanctions so far which include among other things an oil embargo to be slowly phased in. The Battle of Donbass is raging high, but it's not going the way Russia wanted it to. Almost 20 days in, the much-anticipated and feared Grand Offensive falls short of expectations. It is still not even close to achieving its ultimate goal the encircling and crippling of the core Ukrainian military group in the region. Amid fierce hostilities, Russia has only managed to achieve limited territorial gains at significant cost. Slow and painful, the offensive has gradually stalled amid weak Russian reserves and strong Ukrainian defenses.